If you don't like our music, you will like how we dress. And if you don't like how you dress, you'll probably like our music. As far as this band goes, everybody is into different things all the time. Someone will be having a Herbie Hancock kick at the same time that somebody else is having like a Tom Petty breakthrough. And everybody brings whatever they're into at the time to that song, which makes each song really weird and different. I've um, never played in a rock and roll band with a saxophone before, so that's probably the most interesting thing for me. I'm really into music that's heavy in auxiliary percussion, so when I hear songs, I'm like, yeah, we could have a shaker here. Or like, you know, there should be someone like playing hand drum or like a tambourine. I literally found my tambourine in a garbage can at my rehearsal space, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> it, it sounds cool, I like it. I don't have a triangle yet, but that's definitely on the list. Jake always had this vision that we had to have these really loud colors. I want us to look like we're in a band, you know? I want the people in the audience to know that it's like us. I don't think everyone was on board like the first couple of weeks. I was like, come on, just buy clothes for the show. And then we play our first show and no one bought clothes. I'm like, all right, well, hey, you all fit into my clothes. He would actually just give us his clothes. We played some gigs in Lancaster and just walking on the street, people don't know that we're in a band because it's not our hometown, but, but they stop and they're like, what is up with these guys? Basically, we just wanted to do something different and stick out brightly obnoxious colored clothes was our best solution, I think. Dress loud, play louder. You can't really sustain yourself as a band if you're playing totally original music all the time, especially in Pittsburgh, because if you want to get bar gigs, people love to hear covers. We have bar gigs and we also have house shows, which is a very young audience, and like a bar gig could be anywhere from 20 year olds to, you know, 60 year olds, and we need to have something to to appeal to everybody. I see her face in every single piece of toast. Some of the biggest idols I have locally are just small musicians that play in basements. Some of these people writing these songs and playing in basements way too loud, they're writing music that's incredibly honest and it's gaining such a following of, of people that will show up to this basement and just have their ears blown out and watch them like lay their hearts on the line. We want to be writing music that people can enjoy, but we also are want to be writing music that's honest. The music that I like playing best is anything that's kind of groovy. I like to like just go like this. So anything that makes me go like this, I like to play it. It makes me feel good to see people get into the music and make them feel the way you do for just a couple minutes. And normally when we're playing music, we're, we're feeling pretty good, so. Thank you guys so much. We have been chasing the Barons. We got one more tune for you this evening. Um, this is a little ditty called Meditation Song, which is kind of ironic because it gets pretty ridiculous. Here it goes. I got coffee on my mind. It's as simple as that. Losing track of the time, and I don't quite know. Equal people, I got different poses. Let me 
living on the bright side overexposes why do i even try when the bottles dry close my eyes and open up my mind and i breathe in and i breathe out and i level out no doubt Goes in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it in, let it all out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it in, let it all out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Watch you do when you do it so slow. Bring it in heavy, meditative flow. Na 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 na. Goes in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it in and then you let it all out. You let it in through the nose and out through the mouth. to make a plan you've got to take a stand you've got to fake a tan creating stakeholders to further your brand you've got to lie to salesmen at meetings you've got to fly in first class seating you've got to buy a wristwatch with bleeding because you are competing for handshakes at meetings oh, love that music do you want to hear more from QED Sessions? Well, if you do, click right here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll never miss a WQED session.